Hi guys, this is your girl Ashanti Smith coming at you with another YouTube video. My intro. <laughs> Okay, so today's video, as you can see in the title, is how to sell on Macari. Now, Macari, if you don't know already, which you probably should because you look for it purposely. So, Macari is basically like a thrift store online. Um, you can sell all your old or brand new stuff. Um, and you're basically like a business owned by a business. And um, it's really cool. It's a mobile app. Um, it's like making money at your fingertips, but it's definitely a good thing. Cause I made money and I'm in high school. So you can list this as your high school job. So I'm gonna tell you what you gotta put into it. So first you need boxes. UPS boxes are um, free on this online site. Your presentation look nice. So um, I got some stuff over here. So I use tissue paper, I use colorful ones and other stuff, but I gotta restock. I usually get all this stuff from Dollar Tree because it's really cheap. And um, also, I put the stuff that I sell in Ziploc bags and I put it in stuff like this. And then over the Ziploc bag, I put tissue paper. And then I put it in my UPS box and I put a thank you note. And I put a thank you note. <laughs> Um, so here I'll show you. Oh, and you're also going to need inventory. Now, the inventory that you need is like stuff that you want to sell. And I'm going to go and walk you through how I use it on my phone and um, self-promo myself. So this is how I put my stuff in my bag. So I seal it up. So I'm going to open it. So in this bag, I have this Kooji purse. And it's like opening, like... If you buy stuff online, then you know how stuff come in online. And you want to be better than that person that you like doing online. Because those reviews matter. It determines on whether or not that person want to buy you, buy that product from you. And um, I really take that in consideration because you want people to buy from you. Like, what are you, like, what makes you different from this other person that's selling the same thing? And plus, prices. We're going to get into that, but we're going to go later on. So yeah, it's this Kooji purse. I did use it back in the day. I call it vintage. I call it vintage. Like nasty gal vintage. <laughs> it looks brand new. Nothing's wrong with it. So after I post the item on my um thing on on Macari, I do it like fans. So yeah. So I packed it up and I got my little Ziploc bag and people did compliment the way I packed my thing because it looks professional and even though it's like unnecessary, it just looks so much professional that people want to like buy from me. Like you do have followers and stuff and so that's also important because you want like people to like buy from you it's like having your favorite store like, like okay forever 21 some people like forever 21 so much and like list the reasons why you loved forever 21 and be like or try and be better than forever 21 and make sure that your stuff is like quality and if you if it's not quality make sure you put that on there be truly honest about your product and then put it in because if you get a bad review they would take money away from the thing even more money than they are because it takes 10 percent away from your money that you're making so i usually go up from the price i originally want i'm going to show you guys that and they're going to take it out and i got one bad review out of like 15 i think and they took away five dollars away from my product okay so it was like 50 bucks and i sold um sold a pair of jordans 
and um, blah 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 another boohoo story about how i have bad customer well, service and so <laughs> no like, knowledge on jordans <laughs> Hi guys, this is my phone. And so you guys gonna download the Macari app. So on the Macari app, I'm gonna go to my profile page. This is what your notification is gonna look like. The selling when people have questions. And also this is what my profile page look like. So you have your fast responding, you know, your rewards that pop up your balance, and I'm going to click on selling, I believe. You got your badges. So these are the products that I have on sale right now. Um, all these products are um, older products that I had before that I cannot fit, and I wash the clothing before I go ship it off, and I tell them that. So this is one of the products that I have. These are books, the Hunger Games books. So as you can see, they are nine dollars, and I have my um, I have you guys, the customers, buy the shipping. If I used to have um, oh, in my description box, so I says about the description. You guys can go follow me on there. I have two likes, and I also put in a special gift, which is the bookmarks for free, and I and I, um. I also put like the category and whether or not the condition of the books, which is fair. And I put in my description and I have, well, I have the buyer. I I have myself paying for the shipping, but I'm going to change it to the buyer because I would have only got a dollar and 80 cents. So, um, yeah, I originally spent like 40 bucks on all these books together, but since it's not like a good amount, I'm going to put it to that. So you can have UPS or FedEx and have the buyer buy it. You can have their have an option. Better have an option or else they're not going to buy it. And put it as $9. You see how much they take away from you and how much you earn already. So that can determine your price. And you put how much the product weighs that determines the shipping. Make sure you have that right. Because once you go off to have it shipped, they're not going to ship it because it's not the right thing on your Scantron. So those are all the products that I have. I have none in progress. And I have completed all these products. You can see the Air Jordans that I did sell that I ranted about earlier. And um, these are all the products that I sold. And so make sure that you have a profile pic that's you and have an original name if you're selling like Ashanti Smith. Be professional as possible. Have a nice bio. You can see my um, four and a half stars. I used to have five stars, but I got rated a low score from the Jordans. And this is how my home screen look. It shows you the score. I um, your once it's sold and not sold. And yeah. And this is my home screen again. This is how your product's going to look to other people. Please excuse that part. Delete it, Shanti. Make sure you delete it. Delete this part. Delete this part. Delete this part. Delete this part. Okay, so you're going to sell a dollar. I'm going to show you guys how to sell a dollar. So you're going to take a nice little picture of a dollar that's in your lap, right? And you're going to crop it. I'm going to crop out my... Crusty dusty legs out the picture, right? So you just have this big man's dollar. This is from Liberia. This is a Liberian dollar. And um, 
Okay, so you have your photos. You're going to put in what you're selling. I'm selling a dollar bill. And you're going to put, so it's a, like an, a collectible. People collect foreign dollars for fun. And um, you're going to put vintage. And I like to put like new because it's a dollar. I don't know how it can be old. And um, you're going to brag about the product. Tell them what the product is. If you're selling um, clothing, put the size, what you like about it, and whatnot. And then you can tell whether or not you, um, what what's the thing. And have the option of which one they're selling. I put in 20 bucks and I'm not really selling this. So I'm just, I just put in 20 and then I'm going to view my post and I like to promote my object. I want to promote it soon and it's going to take away money because it's, it's going to take away your money. Not from your thing, but you won't be making 20. You're going to be making 19 which I'm okay with. Um, you can only do about five promotions a day. So that's usually what I do. I promote five things a day and um, have people like it. And I deleted the item because I don't really want somebody to buy that dollar. And that's it for the screen recording. I hope you guys liked it. So now that you guys saw what I do on my phone, um, I'm going to show you guys how I do that Um boxes thing because you need your UPS boxes now the UPS boxes totally ship for free so I can get all these boxes um, for free now what you need to do is get priority priority box not flat rate but yeah and then after this I'm gonna get into your shipping and that's it's important okay so now you have your website this is going to be in the description box below because it's kind of hard to get to it on the internet so i'm going to use the priority mailbox now i'm just trying to look for it i'm realizing yeah you want to choose the free shipping boxes only do the free shipping unless you want to pay for these boxes i'm going to choose the it comes in a pack of 10 or a pack of 25 i do the pack of 25 because i my products actually sell really nicely and i'm very happy about that um so yeah i do the 25 and i make sure this is a large box because most of my products are large and i check out now i only get the boxes because the only thing on their website for free is the boxes that um. i get so yeah what you need to do is that you need to go to either your postal office or a place where it ships everything. So where I go is usually um, postal, going postal, and they print they print stuff for me and they ship it for me. Whether or not it's like FedEx, UPS, or that yellow and red place that ships also, they ship all that for me. Going Postal, this is for you, my guy. So Going Postal is right up the street for me. You can ship anything there. And um, if you don't have Going Postal, find a place like Going Postal. And no, not the post office, because I don't think they ship everywhere for free. So um, this, is, this is the place that you're going to use. And they don't sponsor me. This is not sponsored. But hey, if you're watching this and you want to sponsor me going postal, I'm your guy because I love you. Whoa. Okay, so as you can see, they do fax and copy just for 25 cents. 25 cents. 25 cents. And also, they do it in these locations. So if you're in these locations, which you probably are, you can go to going postal. Going postal is such a neighborhood friendly place to go. You can go there anytime. Go shop and go in postal. Yay! Without extra costs. All you gotta do is just bring it in there and do it. And um, but make sure they do it. Like call first. 
Um, I like going postal the most because they're not cheesy. Just to clarify that you can still go to the post office and drop off your package already done and ready to ship. Um, I wasn't trying to like make the post office seem bad, but I just found it easier to go to these places because you can do whether or not it's FedEx or whether or not it's UPS or the that yellow and red place so yeah i wasn't trying to throw it off you can go anywhere you want it's okay my guy um i usually i live on the bougier like halfway mark of fayetteville okay so there's hope mills and then there's fayetteville yes i live in fayetteville go j cole dreamville all the way okay so i live in fayetteville and then there's hope mills i live on the borderline so i'm like right here and then there's hope mills i have to go to hope like Going right here where I live is still considered Fayetteville, but to the internet, I'm still like Hope Mills. But you're like going into it, so it's kind of like middle class, I guess. I, I really, I don't know. And so, um, going postal is like right up the street for me, and I usually have to pay 25 cents because I don't own a printer, so um, they usually just let me sell. So I go up there. I have to have my thing packaged already. I can do it in there, but I like to have it already packaged for there. So I used to go before school or something like that. And uh, yeah, I go up there. They already know me. It's like we're friends. And um, I print out my thing. Uh, I send it to them via email because, um, you know, a person's going to ask like, okay, so once a person buy it, which no one bought for me, recently sadly uh once a person buy it to you they're going to ask you do you want to send like send the receipt and you're going to send the receipt to your email and then the email is going to pop up right and the pop and it's going to pop up it's going to be a deal like how you do it it's going to have instructions you're going to read it and then you actually do it so you're going to send it and then going to click it they're going to find out which one is actually the the, the tracker and um, if it's FedEx, it's going to be this long thing at the bottom. I like to have them cut it off. Either they do or they don't. It doesn't, well, it does matter. I try and cut it off for them, but they'd be like, I got it. It's okay. <laughs> and I'd be like, please do. <laughs> and so um, they do all that for me. They're actually really nice. I really like it when the white lady's there because she's so friendly. And yeah. And so um, it cost me 25 cents to get it printed. And then you can track it with them. Now, sometimes my package got lost in shipping. And so you don't get in trouble for that. They do. And so they refund you and give them their money back. So they don't, like, refund the person. and Yeah, because they know it's not your fault. Macquarie is set up so you can be a professional business also. But if you get a bad review, they will deduct your money and there's nothing you can do about it. Now, it's that same boohoo story from real. The person did text me back. I, um, I texted them back and I was like, hey, sorry that you didn't like your product all the way. Um, please don't make that stop from shopping on Macquarie and for me. And then he asked for his money back. Before and I was 180. Like, <laughs> They did that. And I saw my, for my paycheck. I meant just for fifty. And I was like, I kind of just got scammed. But either way, I still got paid. And hopefully, no, I'm not gonna wish bad things. But he really got a real one messed up. Ha. <laughs> All right. Anyways, if you're watching this, bump you, Derek. Yeah, bump you, Derek. But yeah, and so, um, I don't even, yeah, so reviews matter, and, um, yeah, thank you, Going Postal, you really made my life easier, because when I first started this, I was about to buy me a printer and a computer, but everything I did did not matter, you can definitely use your phone, all I did was my phone, you do not need a high quality camera, all you need is your camera on your phone, and if you don't have a phone, Going Postal, just sponsoring, my dude, just sponsor me. Like Order for using your phone just to take some pictures and upload your item online. Now, I really like Macari. It's a really nice way for me to make my money on um, 
um, just because I'm in high school and I'm underage to um, do it. I was hoping I can make money by YouTube, but that takes some time. And by the time I can actually get a job, I can probably be making two paychecks. So, you know, if you really like me or something, you know, you brag about me on um, to your friends so they can watch my stuff. It's free, you know? Just brag about me and you'd be okay. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. So, on to how I package my things. I'm about to go get my boxes and whatnot. Okay. So here's a little disclaimer. My area, my inventory, my work spot is usually cleaner than that. But, you know, um, a girl's been busy. So I did not have the common sense to clean it up before I filmed that part of the video. So please don't roast me in the comments talking tape, about the dirty area. Cause I, didn't I meant it. duct tape, but that don't look professional. So I also got all these products from Dollar Tree. Sorry that this is junky. I'm selling this stuff. This is my inventory. I'm like Girl Box, the Girl Boss off of Netflix. Welcome on my phone again. So you want to go on Netflix, and it's loading. So Girl Boss is a really cool show. It's about this girl who sells. <laughs> vintage stuff on ebay and her ebay store is nasty gal i made a joke about it earlier so on girl boss it's about this girl who said basically is her own boss you should go watch it it's the best thing next to cheese <laughs> If you haven't watched that series, you should watch it because it's actually really good. They motivate you to make money. Right. So, you tape it nice and good. Sometimes I like to use two tapes, but the person, the UPS store that I go to, they do it for me again. So, it's whatever. Um, so, yeah, so this is your bottom part and this is your box. And once you close it up, it's going to look like this. Okay. So I like to use tissue paper. This is white, but it, okay. So I'm gonna show you guys using this cause it's easier to see the pretty part. I use this though. So, you see how it's all pretty? You're gonna have that face up. You don't, they don't care about this part. Have it face up. And you do that before you actually put the real product in. And yeah, so this is how it looks in the inside. Can I see? Okay, so then you have the product that you're selling. So this is how I say that I make the product that I'm selling look nice in the box. So you want to fold it? I was kind of nervous about folding this because it's um, like thick material and I didn't want it to crease, but it doesn't matter. Um, and I fold it four times. I fold it to make it look nice. Then I get my Ziploc bag that I got from this. I also got this from Dollar Tree. And everything I probably got was probably like $6. So it wasn't a lot. And I probably just have to restock every two weeks. And that's because I'm doing good on Macari. Um, you're going to squeeze out the air to make it look small. Okay, so now you're going to package and make your item look even prettier. So the same thing that I like to use, just going to wrap it up in the tissue paper. It doesn't matter how the back part looks because you're going to have it faced up. Okay, so you see, this looks nice. You're going to have this part down. And this is how it looks on the inside. Can they see? Okay, so this is how it looks on the inside. You have your product and then your tissue paper and then the box. So when they open it up, they'll be like, oh my gosh. And, they, and then they're going to give you five stars. <laughs> All right. So now 
Um, I like to put these thank you notes, uh, thank you notes, and then I have these thank you cards. Now, I, when I first started out, I definitely got my thank you cards for a dollar from Dollar Tree or Family Dollar. I go to Family Dollar. I use all my stuff from Family Dollar, Family Dollar. And so, but uh, Walmart also sell really nice thank you cards, but for five bucks. And when I started getting up, I started getting a little bougier with my supplies, and I got these pretty white cards. So, how I used to say it is that you can or you can get ones that's written, or you can just write your own thing, which I like to write my own thing. So I say, thank you. I say, dear whoever bought that item, I put the real name because it says it on the receipt and I think they like it. And I say, thank you for shopping with me. I hope you like your item. And then I say, if you have any questions, I put my email where they can contact me. And plus, I ask them to brag about me the same way I asked you guys to brag about me. And I was, and um, if it's something wrong with the product that I know that's wrong about it, that I know they're probably going to give me a bad rating on, I put it on this top part. I was like, hey, so um, this product has um, a loose screw, you're probably going to have to get it replaced. I don't put that in my description box because you're not going to buy it. So I make sure that you put it right here so they'll be like, oh, she told me, hope I can't give her a bad review. No, I can't, no. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully <laughs> they don't give you a bad review, but you did tell them that something was wrong with the product. In a thank you card. <laughs> okay, alright. And so, you have this other piece of paper. So then you have this blank piece of paper. You put it inside and you close it up and it looks nice. You tape it up. You put the thank you and yeah. You get this from Party City. I got this from Party City. And I put thank you on the top. So they'd be like, oh, we just got a letter. We just got a letter. And so, yeah, it just came, can you see it? And so that white piece of paper is a thank you card and that's your whole package, right? And that's how it's supposed to come in the mail. Now they look and they see everything and then you're like, oh my gosh, we got a letter. They open it up and they read it and they'd be like, oh, thank you. And then they read and they and, and then they give you a five star saying they got the item. Now with this, they you don't get the money until after um, they rate it. And the money will sit on the Macari account. Now you can use that um, money to buy other products off Macari or you can have it transferred to your debit account balance. Um, that would take four to five business days. So I usually like to let it accumulate to like $20 or above and I transfer it to my own account and then boom, I have some money. Now, um, when you first sell, I sold a lot of stuff in my first two weeks, probably like three products. That's a lot in my terms because there's like really expensive, like 20 bucks and I'm a high schooler. If you're like older and trying to make this your full-time job, um, I wouldn't do it. I would have a side job like YouTube or something. Or a real job. Okay. So, um, this is coming to a wrap for the um, video. I really want to thank you guys for watching. And I really hope that your YouTube, I meant Makari, um, really goes well and that you succeed in life because I think I've done pretty well. I probably made a good 200 off of Macari and I'm just a high school student. So I want to thank you guys and um, enjoy life. We can end it now.